Welcome to Artistry Effects for Photoshop. In this tutorial, we'll look at how to use our Impressa Paint template effect files. Let's jump on into Photoshop and see how to use this effect. This effect comes in two different orientation templates. We have open here the portrait orientation, and there's also a landscape orientation file included. To get your photo into the template and apply the effect is very easy. All we have to do is double click on the top layer thumbnail here, not on the text itself, on the layer thumbnail to open up the smart object layer. And with our smart object layer, it opens in a new tab, as you'll see here. To get our photo into this smart object, we go to the menu File, Place Embedded, and then select the photo that we're going to work with. For this example, I'm going to use this photo here. And just click on Place. And once you're placing your image, uh, you'll have these anchor points here, which you can use to reposition and resize. I'm just going to zoom my image a little bit more in here. And that's just a preference. And to actually place the image and finalize that, click on the little check mark up here. And then to apply the Impressa effect to this image, all we have to do is close the Smart Object layer by clicking the little X right here, and then say Save. And then Photoshop will apply the effect automatically for us. Okay, and here we have our Impressa Paint effect applied automatically. Now there's a few different optional controls that we have here, and we'll go through those. They're all done in the Layers palette right here. So we have some optional controls, and we can toggle open this group by clicking the little arrow there. And then we have some optional control layer groups inside there. We have some tone controls. If we toggle that open, we can turn on the visibility of any of these layers. So for darken image, we can darken the image like that. We can brighten the image. We can give it a little more vibrance. And we can also double click on the adjustment layer icon of any of these to make further changes. So you can see we can really crank up the vibrance, crank up the saturation, and you can make any kind of changes that you want using these. I'll turn that off for now. And also we have an add contrast layer. Again, just turning on the visibility and you'll see the effect that that has on the image. Or again, you can double click on the adjustment layer icon to make further changes to the adjustment layer. So that is the toning layer group here. And we can close that up and move on to the colors um, optional controls. We'll toggle that open. And we have a number of different color option effects here. And to use those, again, all we need to do is turn on the visibility of any of these layers. So we have a color mood, which applies an overlay to the entire image. So if we turn that on, you can see the effect that that has. And of course, we can double click on the color swatch to change that color mood overlay to anything you would like. And you can darken it, you can brighten it, and just have fun playing with that and seeing the different effects that that can have on your image. So we'll click cancel there and we'll turn that off for now. We also have a black and white conversion, which looks great on this effect as well. You can see there. And then we have 10 different color options that you can play with as well, just by turning on and off the visibility of those layers to see the effect. And if you do like any of these effects, but they wind up being a little too strong, you can, for example, black and white, we'll just use that one. You can make that layer active and then you can adjust the opacity to reduce the effect of the color change that you're doing on your image. So we'll toggle this layer group closed and move on to the textures layer group here. And here is where I'm going to zoom in a little bit. We have a simulated sort of canvas texture. That's texture number two is highlighted by default. You can turn that off and have no texture at all. So if you're going to print these on an actual canvas, you would want to turn off any of the simulated textures. But we can turn on texture one to take a look at that. You can see the effect that's like a paper texture there. And if any of these are not strong enough for you, you can adjust the opacity increase or decrease. And we have five different textures that you can play with. So we'll toggle that group closed and we can move on to the frame options. So we'll just zoom back out here. So we have 
five different frame options for you and that's this sort of edge work along the edge of the image here we can turn that off to have no frame at all this looks great again if you're printing it but the effect was designed to have this sort of painted frame look here we have another sort of grungy frame another option here another option here and number five as well so we have a few that you can play with there i'll just keep the default one on for now and we'll close up the frame options group and we can move down to paint textures and toggle that one open there so by default we have four custom paint texture effects that are applied to this image and you can remove the textures completely if you want to you could turn off the paint textures group as a whole and it would be more of a smooth sort of painting but the effect was designed to have these so again you can reduce the opacity if that's too strong of the entire group or you can go through and just keep certain ones on maybe paint texture four we like that maybe paint texture two we like that or maybe we like two and four together but four is a little heavy so we can decrease the opacity and you can see how you can customize the look by just playing with the different layer groups and the opacities of each one. So we'll put those all back on. We'll toggle that group closed. And that's the optional controls um, that we have for this effect here. So we'll close that one up. And in here we have our paint layers. There's not a whole lot um, that needs to be done in this group. Although you can toggle on and off, we have the white scratches and each image will be different depending on your image. We also have some outlines here. So if we toggle those on and off, you can see sort of a sketch outline look on the image itself. And we can, again, control the opacity if we want them stronger or more muted. We'll keep them around 50%, but you can play with that. Every image is going to be different as well. And the Impressa effect is the actual painting effect itself. There's nothing really that needs to be played with here. But if you're very adventurous, you can toggle open these smart filters, see what different effects are being applied, double click any of those to make any changes that you would like and try it out yourself. We'll close up the paint layers group. And lastly, we have the background color. So if we double click that, we can make changes to this as well. We can add some sort of color and that's affecting the image underneath. Give a warm color there or maybe a cooler color. And you can see how it affects the image itself. So hit cancel. And that is our Impressa effect. I hope you enjoy using this effect in your artwork. Thank you again for choosing Artistry Effects by Photography BB and happy Photoshopping.